the encounter. This uh, artwork is uh, currently on view at Shanghai Art Collection Museum within the uh, International Exhibition of uh, Fine Arts uh, organized by uh, uh, this institution. Yeah, uh, so I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. There is ethnic motifs happening again. Yeah, I see it too. <laughs> Um, and I guess, well, the colors, col the colors that I've established prior, they're already kind of settled in already, my favorite colors. And then there is a story. Mm, let's hear it. So um, the story goes like this. So um, if I am an entity, then I have, let's say, one or two colors. And you are an entity that has... A two. lot of colors. <laughs> well, you have your colors, <laughs> yes. right? When we meet, we exchange colors. Yeah. And then, after this meeting, you have more colors, and I have more colors, and we become richer. Beautiful. So this encounter is represented in this form. So there's two entities coming to meet together in, at the point of exchanging the colors. And what we see in the background, let's say that's speed light. The transfer, yeah. The transfer, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay, so that's the encounter. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you for exhibiting it. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah. And while I was working on the encounter, uh, at the same time I was working on the listening to series. Um, this is secretly my favorite one. Mm. And because there is a reason, because um, I might be weird, but sometimes when I have a really, really good day, when I go to sleep at night, Wow. Like right. seriously, it goes like a like starts like with a flute or something, and then I can I don't know it's me composing or somebody is, is playing a concert like a lullaby concert for me. I have no idea, but the thing is, all this beautiful orchestra playing this in my head to kind of make me go to sleep needs to be accompanied with some visuals, right? Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's not a dream anymore. It's just hallucinations, you know. And somehow in my mind, I, ha I start to do these colors, mm -hmm. like they just kind of like go. And this is my try, try. I mean, I'm trying to catch some of those moments. moments. Right. So that's how listening to appeared actually. Uh, this is, uh, was the first one. Mm -hmm. It was called the Moon Song. Beautiful. And this one has sand, uh -huh. Indian ink, yarn. Great. I, I mixed a lot. Yeah. <laughs> great, great. This one, uh, it's very uh, tactile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's and gold foil, right? Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. I name all. This is the moon song. Do you still have this one? I do have it. Yes. Okay. Okay. And next one was a triptych, uh, listening to um, Mozart, which is actually which is actually here. here. Yes. Um, yes. Um, so this one, um, I could. Explain, but I'm. I feel very tempted not to explain. Why? Sometimes you know, like sometimes you want the work to be without name, and then people yeah, try to mm -hmm. find mm -hmm. their own meaning to it. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. think that's also very powerful mm -hmm. because if I tell you, then you're gonna know what it is. <laughs> yeah, um, but you can kind of guess, right, by the name. Um. So listening to, uh, in terms of. Uh, Composers. Well, this one is listening to Mozart specifically. Mozart. I like Mozart a lot. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I was classically trained in musical, musical, uh, classically trained. I like Mozart for his lightness. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. um, he may flirt, but yeah. it's light. Mm -hmm. He may be even sad, but it's still light. You know, there is something playful in, in his music. I like it. And yeah. not only playful, but uh, a little bit of madness. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of um, um, it's, it, we, not a little bit, a, a lot of passion, yeah. a lot of fire, uh, even in Requiem, which is a, a dramatic, <laughs> absolute dramatic piece, yeah, yeah. you can see the fire, the mm -hmm. fire, the passion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, y yes, it, it's uh, wonderful. It, mm -hmm. I could see here. Um, 
those uh, parts uh, that link, for instance, the the, the pods. Uh, I don't know between exactly uh, between the, uh, the, the the I don't know <laughs> how to, how to explain it in musical <laughs> uh, between a piece uh, a, a mm -hmm. part mm -hmm. and then th there is a, a, a pause and then it starts uh, mm -hmm. smoothly and then it gets it gets uh, dynamic and mm -hmm. it, then it gets even more dynamic um, about the, that fire that I'm, I'm talking about with the red and orange and, yeah, and the right. light. Yeah, yeah, you got it. So yeah, it, it's, uh, uh, he takes you on a journey, Mozart's music, all the time. It's not just like a um, one note thing. You know that we put sometimes this uh, chill music and it just goes all day long? Mm -hmm. what, that's not Mozart, not happening. No. He takes you on a journey, you know, and he goes, down and then he changes the color and he changes the color of the music you know and that's what I was trying to capture how he changes the color of the music you know although we have very simple melodical lines yeah there, you can see even here I used a uh, black yarn to do the, melo mm, the melody which is kind of simple it goes here up here down here up here down you would think that it doesn't have any taste any color and yet when it sounds together you can, it's like that's the geniality of and this. That's my boom, yeah, my little boom of color. And the most important thing that I like about Mozart's music is his honesty. That's the most. And important. the honesty in colors mm -hmm. would be very clean colors. Yeah. If yeah. I would put yeah. it into so that's how I have these long strokes of clean colors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why I'm listening to Mozart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing! I love it. Yeah. So um, moving from this, it's kind of in the same technique. I was on the we same wave. The connection. Yeah. The connection. Um, this one, it's actually here today. Mm -hmm. um, also, I kind of like, like love it. This is one of those paintings that wanted to happen, and it didn't ask me. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but um, when I started. Uh, this painting, I was in a phase of um, thinking about how people connect, you yeah. know, because we always kind of think like, oh, I feel connected to that person. What What is it that you connect with exactly? What think is it? it yeah. Think about it. And for me, this uh, painting was I'm trying to understand how I connect to people. What is it? What exactly? Is it hobbies? Is it that we're just from the same country? Maybe not, you know. Mm -hmm. Is it because she's a girl, I'm a girl, and we're connected? No, maybe not. What does it? What is it that connects us? You know, um, maybe it's something deeper. We have, I don't know. You know what I mean? As far uh, far. So, so when yeah. my question started uh, on this thing, that's how it happened. And in fact, it's it's three pieces together. Mm -hmm. So there is one canvas, and we have two other half sphere sphere canvases. Yeah. Trying. To, I wanted them to look intentional, three-dimensional, so that they mm -hmm. are looking like different, you know, yeah. like they're, they, they're coming, they're on their own, and then they're connected by a few threads in the middle, which is seen better on the actual painting, and to give you the answer that I came to after painting and thinking on this, on this uh, topic, what is it that we connect to when, with other people, I realized, I mean, for the moment, maybe I'll have another idea later, but for the moment, I think that a true connection happens when what I'm looking for is looking for me. Yeah, you know, right. Very simple. Yeah, yeah. And that's how it is. And the colors kind of resemble themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's when the connection happens. I, I really like, uh, what I like about it is that it has uh, so um, uh, calm tones. A little bit dark, uh, inviting you to to start thinking. It's not like so musical, like no. uh, like uh, the uh, listening to uh, this one. It really uh, probably uh, because also about uh, it's also about this uh, almost three dimension that it's coming towards you. You you feel the the need to uh, mm -hmm. to get closer to it. Uh, and somehow even touch it uh, because it's inviting mm -hmm. 
here in, in, in the photo it's not that clear but it looks it looks somehow like like black rice you you feel the need to connect with these uh, this work uh, and uh, to feel it and I like what this is what I like about it it's it's very uh, um, toned down inviting you to meditate mm -hmm. about uh, mm -hmm. about what it's here, it's what it's about, the connection. And okay, then think about connections, how you connect with others and yeah. how others connect with you. Not always in life you connect uh, well with uh, some people that you like. And then exactly, exactly, yeah. Well, I mean, for me, I'm always a... There's a rupture here, a little bit, exactly. I can see it as yeah, a rupture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, there's always... Um, I'm looking always to be as honest as, as possible in the art. Uh, it's the like there's no other way. If you try to, um, I don't know, copy or uh, let's say um, embellish things too much, uh, you may, may lose all of some of your honesty. Yeah. And I feel that honesty is the most powerful thing that can be in art. And I will not um, <laughs> give that up. <laughs> and I'm very glad that I had a chance that throughout this, uh, uh, this project, Soulscapes, uh, I uh, ha am honored to meet only truthful artists, truthful to their concept, to what they represent uh, as people uh, and uh, as artists. And this is the connection. <laughs> oh, uh, <thank> <laughs> yes, it's important, as you said. It is very, for me also, it is very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, oh yeah, uh, following, uh, I really enjoyed this technique, wor working with yarn and everything. And then I started going, remember my landscapes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's uh, coming a cycle, in oh, a wow. cycle again. So um, <laughs> I started to try, I started to improvise with this yarn technique and layers of different there's gold foil as gold well, foil. different metallic paints. S silver, uh-huh. Yeah, there's some, mm -hmm. some silver, some metallic, some copper paints. And I started to do landscape, but in a, mm, I mean, it's not really a realistic mm -hmm. thing, but it's not really an abstract one, so it's something in the middle. In the middle, yeah, it's, um, it's okay. It's and it has okay. also like a decorative element. Yeah. They're very hard to photograph these ones. I know, I know. To tell you the truth. No, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> How do you manage? Gold foil is so difficult to manage. It's really. Yeah, it's it's, one of those, yeah. I don't know, uh, you guys here in in, in <laughs> Western world, but um, uh, in Romania and in, in Orthodox countries, we still have icons, religious uh, items, and we decorate them with gold foil. <laughs> and also uh, teaching in an academy in art in <laughs> universities, <laughs> they are teaching this in, uh, all techniques of icon making. They use a lot of gold foil. And I, at some point, I tried to, and then uh, I had a coughing, <laughs> a coughing series <laughs> with my gold foil in my hand, and just poo <laughs> all over. <laughs> it was very hard to, to do it. I said, no, not more, not me. Yeah, it's a tricky one. Yeah, yeah. So this is my. Uh, this is actually the last ones that I did because I'm in a process of doing. I'm working more in this. Uh, uh, Techniques and in this style, um, but in the meantime, I'm not just all, all canvases and stuff. I do other kind of work. And versatility, as I feel, I said earlier, you're a very versatile yeah, artist. Um, like this, it's all me series. It's watercolor and ink. Uh huh. And uh, these are actually, I have to say thank you to again to ASPZ. Because they have this challenge every month, they give a topic. Mm -hmm. For example, um, lines. Oh, there was lines. So you have to come up with a painting or a poem that has lines, you know. And th that's how I started to do with lines and then something, and then it kind of evolved into a series. It's called It's All in Me. Yeah. So that's a poem over there in, in uh, the right. Uh, no. It's, it's just words. Ah, words. It's just words. Uh -huh. Just words that, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, 
different states of being. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the thing is, it's like it's all in me, right? Yeah. I, you, you can't say it. It doesn't go past the mm -hmm. my line, my face line. So it stays all in me. Yeah. This one is called the little one, the lines that make me. Yeah. So there is a line. It's one line only that goes, and uh -huh. the lines that make me. Yeah. And the one, the so other it's one an uninterrupted burn, line all I over. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So and this one is burn. Burden of thoughts, mm -hmm. you know, when sometimes you feel like yeah, yeah, pressure, yeah. yeah. And from the same series, a continuation. That one is called "Cold in the Rain." Cold in the Rain. Uh huh. Um, that's also featured in Art Circle, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. They used it. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is the Eye of Reverie. Uh huh. Uh, so it's like in behind you have all of these words yeah. that can make or not your reality. And yet you choose to put on the eye of dreaming, mm -hmm. you know, the eye of reverie. Mm -hmm. If you choose to escape someplace else, and this one is called "Kissed by the Sun," mm -hmm. and the reason for uh, for which there are tears, mm -hmm. because I don't know about you, but I'm photosensitive. Yeah, yeah. So when the sun gets into my eyes, I cry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't worry, but you're not, not a, alone. Not a happy <laughs> feeling. So basically, that's. Um, being kissed by the sun has a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, but yes. Um, at least it's a beautiful painting. So. Uh, <laughs> yes, and I could say just uh, you know uh, navigating through internet this uh, uh, every day. I could see that um, on Instagram, on uh, on Facebook, uh, wherever. I could see that uh, a lot, uh, many artists many many artists are going towards the figurative uh, uh, painting it's like um, a, a, a permanent uh, renewal of it or return to, to uh, um, a kind of reality uh, a self reality let's say um, so uh, it's not only because you know uh, from uh, abstract expressionism for the fi from the 50s in America and stuff everybody uh, started to, to do abstract painting it was a fashion well, yes we love abstract. it is a lot of abstraction uh, but uh, figuration and uh, realisms all shapes of realisms are still powerful and I think at some point um, People uh, would tend more to buy something that they would understand mm -hmm. more than abstraction. So I can see uh, these uh, uh, as a as a continuation of a of a mm, very actual trend, very contemporary. Mm -hmm. it's, it's still uh, uh, very contemporary. <laughs> doing figuration mm -hmm. in your own expression because it's n it's, it's a dr dreamy time yeah, of, it is of more form. romantic yeah um, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, oh my triptychs um, so I had a phase <coughs> like I told you I have between music and visual art or poetry and yes. visual art so these ones um, it was. It is a series uh, of uh, triptychs, sort of three paintings together, and there was a poem that I I, I wrote. Don't Specific. ask me now because <laughs> I don't remember them now. <laughs> but uh, for each of these, um, there was a, a poem written to kind of uh, enhance the meaning of it. It's a uh, more. more more romantic, I would say, and also I was trying to play with oil pastels here. Uh huh. So it's very impressionistic, yes. I would say. Very light, very easy. Um, here is the first one. Mm, um, yes, impressionistic yeah. and expressionistic. It's very yeah. difficult to somehow. I think it's still difficult to to uh, use these oily uh, pastels yes, because if you yeah they smudge a lot and then if, if you, you get a grasp and, and doing it uh, uh, very good that's that's great <laughs> yeah. uh, because it's uh, otherwise yeah. uh, it tends to be uh, all blackish or grayish and then yeah. you don't understand anything from a composition yeah so I try to kind of start with the lightest colors first so that mm -hmm. I don't get too much black the black 
would be the last one. Yeah, yeah. And once, it, like you said, it smudges a lot and you just can't get it out of there. It just stays yeah. in there. And I liked um, the rough textures of oil pastels on the canvas. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a, uh, so you, you're, you're uh, working on canvas? It's like a uh, canvas panel. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it's, it's kind of strong enough. Yeah, yeah, right. And uh, I really, really liked the, the roughness, with the, the marks that it, it, mm -hmm. it, 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 it leaves. Uh, Are they those big dimensions in terms of... Uh, so the smallest yeah. ones are this big, uh -huh. and that one is this big. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I don't know, Cute. I don't Cute. remember, mm -hmm. 30, 40 or mm -hmm. something mm -hmm. like in the mm -hmm. lines of that. And these are in the same uh, style, the same yeah. sizes, so they are together. Yeah, this one is walking on the beach, I think, mm -hmm. um, with some birds as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about the feeling the sand, mm -hmm. because you can see the birds as well, they're in with their, on their feet. Feet, yeah. Exactly, so yeah. it's the same thing. Water or sand, yeah. And this one is uh, walking by the stream, I think, or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're all in the same category, which is, it was, uh, poems about Earth. Uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. All the triptychs are related to Earth. I'm um, a strong uh, ecologist, so <laughs> there you are. That's um, very good. That was um, kind of like my little tribute to make people more aware that we have to mm -hmm. preserve, preserve nature, nature and stuff. Right, yeah. right, right. So, but you can see the style is pretty much the same. Well, pastels, very kind of rough lines, but still preserving mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. romantic feel of it. I, I love the small ones, they, they're realistic but still uh, ha have a lot of abstraction like mm -hmm. in terms of circles and if you uh, almost close your eyes you, you would just see only uh, directions of, of the colors, not, uh, mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. the, the shapes. Yeah, but that's the pleasure of working with oil pastels, you can't be precise. The moment you start to go precise on it, you go smudgy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's what that's the beauty of oil pastel. Mm -hmm. This kind of effect could be done. On, I mean, at least mm -hmm. for my part, I think oil pastels did it justice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this was my phase of triptychs. Oh, sounds of wings. Oh, this one is not me. This was was actually one of my first series. And I do love birds as well. Like I do like yeah. trees. Uh, so this one was um, an experiment actually with gouache. Um, yeah, well, and I like swallows a lot. Uh -huh. so <laughs> uh, well, they are very oriental three. somehow. Right, right. It's actually actually this one was done in China when mm -hmm. I was I was looking a lot mm -hmm. at Chinese um, paintings and things. So uh, yeah, uh, it's a very illustration yeah kind of thing it yeah. is N uh, they look uh, they look like uh, Chinese painting but they have definitely color <laughs> and uh, it's that you know that f somehow flat background with uh, very graceful uh, um, designs of, of birds and flowers and in a very graphic manner uh, but they're colorful and then uh, that's your your mark, your <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. No, I mean it, this one was actually fun, but I think I I um I had like it was like a breath, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have done. Oh, there's more actually. There's eight of them. Uh, I've done them in a in a week. Wow. It's like whoosh, 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 one mm -hmm. after another, and once I was done, I was like, oh, it's out of my system. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I moved on to other idea. So mm -hmm. it was. That's very One interesting. The fact that you don't uh, don't I know um, a lot of artists that uh, find find a subject or a way of rendering or a composition, and then they took it over and over and over twenty years. And I, I keep th thinking, wouldn't they? I mean, get fed up of this kind <laughs> of, of composition just for twenty years doing the same. Uh, almost colors and, and shapes and uh, this uh, illustrations of, of uh, figures and porches and stuff. No, uh, throughout uh, your creative life, you need to experiment. You need to, to do something else. I mean, not really stay there because you sold one or two uh, artworks and they were interesting and then let's keep doing this and this for 20 years and not move on. That I don't understand. 
Me neither. Um, but again, I'm the crazy curious artist. So and I'm the crazy curator. <laughs> there. <laughs> and what happened to me is um, I got another phase, which ended, thank God. Um, I mean, it was very fun. Um, ended about half a year ago. So it's about fragmented paintings and markers. So it all started with that one. With the tree. That's uh, a very cubist uh, like uh, <laughs> composition. Uh, it reminds of uh, Cezanne a little bit mm -hmm. because you remember in Cezanne landscapes, yeah. uh, uh, it's the, the, the brush strokes were almost uh, squares. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know markers give precisely this, uh, have this ability to of uh, yeah, having think. squares. Yes. And, uh, uh, so actually these three are not with markers, this one are done with uh, not even a brush, with a roller. A roller? Uh, these are all big canvases, ah. uh, they're like, especially the low one and this one, they're like one Is meter. The one? <laughs> they're that big, okay. really. Uh, the tulips is a bit smaller, tied a bit smaller, but the, these two are really big. And I was playing with rollers. Again, this is because of my job as artist in residence. My kids loved painting with rollers, you know. The so the it's acrylic? It's acrylic. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and I was doing like that, and then I realized if I minimize the rollers stroke, you have, if I make them smaller, they become like squares, and then mm -hmm. you have these fragments happening, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's when my fragmented things started to appear. And then I thought, oh my god, rollers, big canvases, I don't have space, I don't have the time, can I do it on a smaller scale, faster? And I could. <laughs> yes, and it's, it's definitely <laughs> something between uh, pointillism uh, uh, and impressionism and uh, markerism, if there's a concept, if it's, if it's not a concept so far, we will invent it, markerism. I think I invented something. <laughs> because I, I, there is no word to describe what I'm doing, obviously. Everybody's trying to find a word for it. But I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. Like, it's so much fun. It dries quickly. The only thing that I I like it, but people don't like about markers, you can't erase them. Yes. It's if uh, you put it on the paper, that's it, I baby. Know, yeah, you yeah. can't erase it anymore. So, so you have to be very sure when you, you put it You have to be very sure. Uh, yeah. I wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. um, uh, if this type of painting, um, so to speak, because it's more graphic art uh, mm -hmm. with markers, uh, this, this type of coloring uh, would start like, uh, mm, like let's say, um, painting on, on glass uh, with, uh, with the lighter shades and then you, you grow uh, with medium shades and then with darker shades. Yeah, darkers go last because, like I told you, you can't make a mistake. Yeah. So I actually have lots of, most of these, I think, have uh, uh, process uh, videos on my mm -hmm. YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, you can check. Uh, there's, like, you can see how I start. So there's always a very basic sketch uh, in pencil. Mm -hmm. And then I start with the lightest of colors most of the time to have it, um, the mid and then the mid tones and then all the others come. So the darkest ones come last. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, the kids are do do they like doing this? Uh, have you tried with kids? Uh, the kids that I'm working with now they're too young for this uh -huh. a little bit. Well, they color their 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 fingers. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm hoping this year because I might get bigger kids, mm -hmm. um, bigger grades, and I really really want to try it with them. Mm -hmm. I really want to see what they do mm -hmm. because it's fun with markers that uh, once they dry, the lighter especially. If you put another color on top, you can have the layering. Mm -hmm. it's, it does beautiful things mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. when you look up close. So I've done boats, I've done birds, I've done flowers, I've done, oh, I have a motorbike series as well. It's like uh, mm -hmm. a few of them. So it's about uh, stops in cities. Uh -huh. So there's one, in, this one is in Shanghai. I have one in Paris. I have one in Hangzhou, I think. Uh -huh. So there's different uh, places. Uh, where I have a motorbike and uh, a person in there. Uh, and and I'm waiting for an abstract series <laughs> of in markers. markers. <laughs> Why not? 
I mean, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, I could go there. And be when I was in Marcus, it just so happened that it was Christmas, and Christmas, Christmas is my favorite holiday of all. It's like I have so many traditions that I do for Christmas. I just love it. And I just decided, um, I love Christmas. Let me do a series of Christmas illustrations with markers. And I went, boom. <laughs> so for like a few weeks straight, every single day, I was doing a new illustration with markers. And and it's almost abstract, abstract the, 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 the tree. The Christmas tree, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you see, I mean, the, the, the background, it's also inviting, very inviting to to try to shape something like uh, the steel knives or, mm -hmm. you know, just to to uh, depart from a very flat tone uh, surface, maybe in acrylic, mm -hmm. and then to variate with simple drawing and then add some, some madness with markers. Mm -hmm. It's something that, that could be yeah, 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 yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Thanks for the idea. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, like I said, it went um, on for quite a while. Mm -hmm. I actually had them published. Oh, I have them um, uh, in my Oh, it's in my bag? In my bag, yeah. Oh, really? I, I had no them. idea you were ca carrying this. I published them in, uh, on a second book with the uh, illustration cards. Uh -huh. Oh, thank you. I'm going to make some noise now. Oh, that's okay. Um, yeah. I have a little booklet and it, all the illustrations are inside. Mm -hmm. You can see them. And it's like so that. there are 12 or 14? Ah, 14. All different. Uh -huh. and actually, it was a limited um, edition. edition and I have just a few left just for me to keep. Mm -hmm. I, I sold mm -hmm. them all, luckily. So mm, very good, very good. So you see, uh, what I'm telling you about, uh, it's the background. The background is very interesting in, in, in terms of uh, uh, rendering uh, very uh, abstract uh, surfaces, uh, uh, pointillist. It's, uh, it's very interesting. And mm -hmm. I really urge you to to start uh, uh, experimenting with this. Because yes, they are very um, um, good at, at um, uh, layering. Yeah, the layering is just fantastic with markers, yeah. yeah. So um, the colors came up a little bit different than in reality, and the paintings are about this big. I found this amazing paper that doesn't absorb, uh -huh. so you, I use very little marker paint, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't mm -hmm. eat up the markers. Mm -hmm. um, it's just great. Yeah, so, so it goes from from very light to, to dark tones. Yeah, so it's uh, very playful material, very mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. convenient to use as well because you don't get stained, you don't mm -hmm. get dirty, you don't, you, you don't need to wash brushes. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah. Um, Definitely, very interesting. I hope this can inspire other artists as well to give it a try in their own way to mm -hmm. interpret their own Definitely. ideas. Definitely. Um, I encourage you to do and, so. And here we can find all, all sorts of, uh, of uh, instruments of, of this kind. I mean, markers from all the types. So it's uh, yeah. very inviting. I have s a small um, series, mm -hmm. uh, 34, I think, you know, found on Taobao. It's those, you know, like uh, um, black boxes uh, filled with, uh, with markers. Right, right, right. It's exactly the one I have. Yeah. 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 Black ones, yeah, um, they can be fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A very accessible, and it's a material that you don't think about it uh, that you can make art. Yeah, and mostly the most you can think is about uh, an easy illustration or to mark a line in a book. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. There are so many shades. It's uh, it's uh, very. They can do wonderful things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I find it. It was fun. Yeah. What <laughs> about your your space, creative space? Mm. How do you find yourself in this creative space? Is it a, a studio? I wish. <laughs> Dear universe, <laughs> please send me a studio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody with wants light, that. <laughs> with access to water, with some storage space, and yeah. close to my house. Yeah, no, seriously. Um, a studio would be great because um, the more I experiment, the more I create, um, it's invading my private space in mm -hmm. the house. It's it takes a lot, and uh, <laughs> I know. 
um, I don't want these two to be fighting, you know, no, no, because no. home is home and art is art and they're both important to me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm lucky though in, in, in respect that I have a very nice art room in the place where I work. Ah. So uh, for that part, experimenting with kids, we can do really, really art pieces. Um, I have a book, but maybe later. Uh, we can create three-dimensional things, mm -hmm. like I'm talking three meters, four meters big things. We actually had an exhibition um, last month mm -hmm. um, at Mars Galleries uh, with uh, lots of installations uh, that kids created mm -hmm. in collaboration with me. But I, th I say kids created because it's mainly their work. Mm -hmm. I was merely guiding them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's we're talking kids riding bicycles and painting with the wheels. Wow. We're talking about water bottles used to be bells. We're talking um, to create a Chinese porcelain vase on a 3D painting, like a 3D painting, wow. and a four meters long painting, really big scale. And for that, I mean, we need space. And yeah, right. I'm grateful that I have that. Um, and the kids, I think, are also very happy. So uh, I believe so. Creativity is uh, <laughs> at uh, as it's it's best over there. So uh, yeah, yeah. It's uh, I'm very lucky to have met all the people that I met. Really, really, I'm very lucky to even like hear all the people that are here and the people that I work with. I'm incredibly lucky. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> but it's, you know, uh, at some point uh, there there is a, a moment in which uh, the universe uh, gives us a, sh a chance to meet and then. Uh, a meeting, uh, uh, we see that we connect, uh, and there, there you go. It everything uh, happens, can happen. Yeah. Uh, therefore, your uh, presence here in, in, in this show, Saltscapes, uh, means uh, a lot to us. Uh, it's uh, very clear that we connected from the first moment. Uh, although uh, we must say we know we know each other. We've met two years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think uh, this this title of, of the the exhibition Soulscapes resonates uh, perfectly with your kind of, uh, of uh, inner um, searches uh, to to find to express yourself through, through poetry to to painting to music through music so um, it's great it's great thank you thank you I also feel connected. It's been lovely to meet all the other artists as well. It's like eye-opening to hear their stories as well. It, it's incredible. Yeah. Definitely, only through connection. Uh, it's, uh, it's how we enrich ourselves uh, through other uh, stories. And, uh, and I don't know, uh, thank you for being here, oh, for, for sharing with us uh, uh, all your uh, stories, uh, your art. Uh, uh, maybe someday uh, we'll have a chance to hear your poetry and uh, oh. <laughs> your music. Why not? It's about sharing. Even if you don't think it's, uh, it's something that you would uh, uh, exhibit, uh, it's a part of you. It is, yes. So, it's part of my soul. So I think it's, uh, it's very important at some point to, to share it with, uh, with all of us. Thank you, Elena. Thank, Thank you all you. for being here. <laughs> oh, wait.